Worst of insecurities over Lai Mohammed assures Nigerians. Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information and Culture, um, <laughs> is telling Nigerians that um, the worst of insecurity is over. So better days are ahead. But the only thing there is that um, Lai Mohammed is someone who um, his words you can't really you can't take his words to bank lai mohammed this minister you know nigerians have given him a name some people call him like lai mohammed they call him different uh, sort of name because of um occurrences in the past but right now he's telling nigerians reassuring nigerians i know this will be a bit difficult because you know for you to say something like this you should have said some in the past that really happened but unfortunately that has not been the case lai mohammed is speaking right now reassuring nigerians that um, the worst of insecurity is over. I don't know if this is under President Mohammed Buhari's government or is under another government because it's been seven years plus that um, Buhari has not been able to deal with the insecurity issue. And that was one of the areas he, he campaigned with, that if he's elected as president, he will end the insecurity issues. Well, we can see the number of people that die daily. Very, very sad kidnapping, all of the atrocities that happened. And Buhari has not been able to curb all of this. But Lai Mohammed is assuring Nigerians. We'll find out what, uh, uh, what has been put to place. Because you can't just assure Nigerians. You need to tell them what has been put in place, what has changed, and uh, what we are to expect. Well, we'll bring you all of the details in a bit. But before we do, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, hit on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click the bell. Just press the bell. It enables you to get notifications as soon as we upload. Yes, we're going to the news now. Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information and Culture, says the worst of the insecurity challenges facing the country is over. Addressing a press conference in Abuja on Monday, Mohammed said bandits and terrorists would never hold sway in our country. The minister said the administration of President Muhammad Buhari has been able to reduce the incidence of insecurity, adding that there might be still cases, but not on the scale witnessed by Nigerians in the past. As far as the daunting security challenges we face are concerned, we can tell you that the worst is over. Never again will terrorists and bandits and their cohorts hold sway in our country, he said. The security challenges we face as an administration have been daunting from terrorism to banditry to kidnapping to separatist violence to crude oil theft to armed robbery and sundry crimes it's undoubtedly the greatest challenge to the peace and security of our great nation since the civil war from 1967 to 1970 it is the kind of challenge that would have overwhelmed many nations but thanks to the purposeful leadership of President Muhammad Buhari, we can say, I want to repeat that the worst is over and peace and security are gradually returning to the land. Please don't misunderstand or misrepresent this assertion. We may still witness isolated cases of security challenges here and there, but it will not be on the scale that we have witnessed in the past. The minister added that the media should always highlight the efforts of the security agencies in trying to keep the country safe. That was one of, you know, that was one of the reasons why President Mohammed Buhari claimed he banned Twitter. Remember the last time and Lai Mohammed was part of that as well, that um, a lot of uh, false stories are being um, shared on um, that social media handle. But I don't think there is anywhere where someone will see good and just prefer to spread lies and falsehood even if that happens the majority will not be the case it will be a small percentage spreading the falsehood and we know that the majority always carries weight the majority will go for the truth lai moment is putting it on uh <laughs> on uh um the news um the media as well telling the media that they should um, try and present things the way uh, it will not uh, um, cost or the way he put it he said the media should always highlight the efforts of the security agencies in trying to keep the country safe but if there are no efforts from these security agencies if they are not doing anything 
you know up to now we can't even notice the difference between um the new service chiefs you remember the time it was burutai and his team there's no difference buhari was under pressure to relieve those service chiefs and bring in new fresh minds new heads he delayed but after some time he succumbed he did he sacked the service chiefs and brought new ones on board but is there any difference no difference because people are still being killed innocent lives are still being lost children are dying women a lot of people are, are dying like mohammed is saying that um, the worst is over although yes one part here he said uh, he should not be misinterpreted or misquoted he's not saying that um, there will be no that means he's saying that people are still going to die He's not saying that uh, uh, we will not experience some issues here and there, but what he's saying that the worst is over. So, but he has not told us what he, they've done with Boko Haram and the bandits. Because these guys have not left the country. They are still in the country. They are still within. They are not terrorizing us from outside. It's from within the country. And President Mohamed Buhari's government have not been able to do anything. But Lai Mohamed wants the media to celebrate uh, President Mohamed Buhari that um, he's trying, he's doing his best. Well, his best is not good enough, unfortunately. His best is not good enough. The worst of insecurity is over. So, like I started with this sort of assurance that he's trying to give to Nigerians. It can only happen if he has said something before in the past and he follows through to it. Anything he says, he backs it up. You know, Lai Mohammed has been one minister who says something and whenever it backfires, he, <laughs> he tries to adjust, paraphrase and changes the whole thing. He does that a lot. Everyone knows he's Buhari's loyalty, so he will never speak anything against President Mohammed Buhari. He will not speak ill of Buhari. So, in a nutshell, everything he's stating right now is that um, Buhari has done very well, and uh, we're going to see uh, more of what he has done. That the bandits and the terrorists, they will never hold sway in our country. That, uh, that is what everyone is praying for. Nobody wants a nation that bandits and terrorists won't allow you because you won't be able to do business peacefully. Remember, farmers can't even go back to farm because of the fear of loss of life. Not just their farm produce alone, but for them to come back safe. They prefer to stay indoors, stay at home, than go to the farm and be attacked by these um, terrorists and these bandits. Nobody wants that. So everybody's praying for a safe environment, safe community. In a safe community, everyone can thrive. You do business, you can move about. But right now, to even travel from one uh, part of the country to another, fear of kidnappers on the way. You know, recently, someone was saying to um, one of these politicians that, I want you to travel, tra just travel from um, Lagos to another part of the country without your security aid, without your security details. If you are saying that the worst of insecurity is over, maybe that's what we should tell to Lai Mohammed. He has to do the same. He just needs to move about a bit without his security aid. Then we'll believe that um, the worst of insecurity is gone. Well, guys, um, this is Lai Mohammed saying the worst of insecurity is over. Leave us your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.